Am I very late? Well, let's put it this way. We're not seeing the original movie. We're seeing the sequel. Where <laughs> were you today? I tried calling you. I went to see Frank Holden. Really? Uh-huh. Did he torture you with his usual empty promises of big money and world travel? No empty promises. Oh, no. He made an offer today. No kidding. No more anorexic models, no more scotch ads. We are talking serious photography. Worldwide assignment for Holden Photo International. <laughs> What's the matter? I thought you'd be happy for me. Happy? I'm delirious. I haven't been this happy since I had my wisdom teeth extracted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't understand. What's wrong? Us. You ever stop to think about us? I mean, about our future, even for a second? Well, I haven't accepted the job yet. I, I told them I'd let them know Friday. Oh, great. So you get the job offer, uh, what's today? Wednesday. You have to let them know by Friday. That gives us all of two days to talk about it. Well, Greg, don't you understand? I've been waiting for this job for uh, years. For Pete's sake, I'm not asking you to give it up. You're a photographer. You're a good photographer. I'm proud of you. But why can't we also get married and have a couple of kids? <laughs> well, what are you going to say to them when you send them off to school in the morning? Uh, sorry, Mommy can't be here to pack your lunch. Uh, she's in Hindustan today. Or Mommy can't be here to say goodnight, but she's going to make a trunk call from Botswana. Lots of parents have to travel on business. You could hire a housekeeper, get a nanny. Well, I want to be there when my kids are growing up. I don't want to miss out on their childhood like that. Yeah. Uh, two tickets, uh, two adults. Oh, for God's sake, what am I doing? Uh, the whole world's falling apart. We're going to see Eddie Murphy. Greg? Greg, stop. I'm sorry. You have a stake in this, too. Just promise me you'll think about it. So, really think about it. Carol Shelton, photographer. A modern woman with an age-old problem. She can make the artistic choices of light and shadow, which capture a lifetime of human pain or grandeur on film. Rick, you are not going home now. Listen to me. Pretty rough, eh? Yeah, but it's worth it. But like each of us, she has trouble sometimes choosing which road of life to travel, especially when that road winds deep among the shadows of the twilight zone. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Guess. Guess who? No, it's not a knock-knock joke. You have to guess. OK, let me see. Uh, how about? Kenny. Right. You're a good guesser. You're kidding. On the first try? You're from the agency, right? Somebody sent you to meet me? Yes. Right. I was sent. You want to go see the elephants? Uh, sure. But, uh, what if... it's okay. They know where I am. Let's go.
take a shot of us, okay? Sure. Why not? Would you mind? Thank you. This has been the best day. Yes, it really has. We've got some great stuff today. You really enjoy your work, don't you? Work? Well, that's what we were doing, even though we had a good time doing it. The client's gonna love the pictures. You'll get the job, I know it. Here. Well, look, would you like some copies? I'm sure your folks have a whole gallery on you. Look, I'll send you some. Where do you live? Well, I'll be seeing you. Kenny, wait! Whoever you are, you got a hell of a lot of chutzpah. Ten years of hard work, Ansel. I'm sorry. I just felt that if I didn't take this job, I'd spend the rest of my life wondering whether I could have cut it. Greg, this is my dream job. What about my dream? understand there's nothing that you can see through this lens that you can't see with your own eyes how can this thing be as important as us I'd be blind without it I thought you knew who you were getting involved no. with I did know I just thought I could change your mind. 
somewhere down the line. Maybe a part of me wanted you to. Well. scared the hell out of me. What are you doing here? How did you get in? Honey, what's wrong? You told him no. Why did you tell him no? How did you know that? If you take that job, you'll be gone a lot. I won't be able to see you. Kenny, I just met you. Hey, you lied to me. The agency didn't send you. I never said they did. You thought so, and I figured we could just pretend. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can register you with the agency and you can still have the job. But we'll talk about it later. We've got to go home now. Can we call somebody to come pick you up? Come on. You have to have a home. Someone who cares. All right. Now I'll get a cab and take you home. You don't understand. Kenny, how did you know where I lived? I'm sorry I made you run away last night. I asked too many questions, didn't I? Okay. But you already knew the answers. Kenny, I don't know what you mean. Yes, you do. Your name isn't Kenny, is it? It's whatever you want it to be. Why didn't you tell me? Against the rules. 
All you had to do was want me. But I do. I love you, Kenny. It's just sometimes you have to make a choice. Why couldn't you choose me? But I will someday. I just can't right now. You can have a little boy someday. And you can name him Kenny. But he won't be me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I understand. Thanks a lot for watching, Hansel. All right. Okay. <laughs> Look, I'll get some great stuff. You'll see. I'll tear their hearts out. Okay. Bye-bye. The song unsung, the wish unfulfilled. Even with the dream in hand, there is the chill of an eternal loss, fading fading for every choice made wrong or right a thousand alternatives denied when tomorrow calls sometimes the heart must be denied for carol shelton there will be other tomorrows other joys and yet fading fading for one trembling instant she was given the opportunity to take snapshots of an alternate future snapshots forever undeveloped in the darkness of the Twilight Zone.